in, in the wintertime, my father, he was a pretty pretty popular golf pro. In the wintertime, he, he had quite a few jobs. He, uh, I'm trying to remember now, when I was young, he, in the wintertime, he would go down to a place called Harder Hall in Sebring, which was an exclusive golf resort. So he'd, he'd have a winter job down there. And then, uh, and he had quite a few of those. He was a director of golf at Doral for, uh, oh, back in the 60s for four or five years, no, no, six no. years, maybe longer than that. Then he went to another. But the problem was, he'd go down, he'd go to Florida, and he'd only want to be there in the winter because this was his, this was his main deal. And uh, so, um, after three or four years, they'd say, "Listen, you got, you have to be here all year round." And then he'd move along. And then he was another place called El Conquistador in uh, in Puerto Rico for quite a few years. But he had all these pictures of. Uh, he has one picture of him at Doral with Mickey Mantle, um, standing in front of a golf cart. He should have Mickey Mantle sign that picture, yeah. but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I should have brought some, but I didn't think you guys would be able to use them. I, I mean, I could probably get them to you if you want. And then there's pictures of him with like um, Sidney Poitier, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Um, they're all in my golf shop up in Maine. People, everyone comes in the pro shop, and uh, we have a nice big pro shop, and everybody goes over and looks at those things. Um, Jackie Gleason. Uh, he knew quite a few of these people. Uh, Whitey Ford. Uh, I have another picture of him having having uh, dinner with um, um, the Bronx Bomber. Um, hey, Ruth. Joe DiMaggio. Oh, Joe DiMaggio. Him and, him and my father having dinner at a table. And uh, a funny story about... The funniest story... My, fa my father never told a whole bunch of stories. You'd have to pull them out of him. But the real funny story about him was... At down at Doral, um, it was, it's a resort. A lot of people come, come there for a week or two golf... Uh, uh, vacation and uh, they have a big ballroom and at night they'd, every night they'd have like a dinner dance with an orchestra so my father would get up and sing a couple of songs and uh, so one night he's up there singing and uh, him telling the story was the funniest thing he ever heard so he's singing the song packed house and he forgets the words of the song so the guys in the band are behind him and they're going they're trying to help him along and he's like bombing and all of a sudden in the back of the room there's like stop the show stop the show so he, so you look, look over in the corner, there's Jackie Gleason stood up. And he says, George, so he comes down the stage and grabs the mic and he goes, George, you're the golf pro here. We don't like you uh, cutting into our livelihood, so let me finish the show. So he grabs the mic and pushes my father off the stage and <laughs> sings a couple songs and everything. And everybody had a great time. And so my, he comes off the stage, my father goes, thanks a lot, I was bombing. <laughs> so that's a kind of funny story, Jackie Gleason. And, and, and I think uh, I have some pictures of... Uh, Babe Ruth, I guess, used to play here. Mm -hmm. And there's pictures of my father and, and him playing with a big gallery down. I, I, I think it's a sixth hole is where there's, there was, uh, uh, I guess he used to come and play here. And I think Whitey Ford used to come up here. And play. I guess some of the Yankees used to come up here and play. Um, but most of them, most of those were down south at, at his, on all of his winter jobs. So, um, but... Uh, that's oh, wonderful. oh yeah. There was. I remember back not too when I was still here back in the '80s. Uh, there was a couple of wrestlers that used to come here. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter used to come in here. He was a, a big time wrestler. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember every time he used to come in the pro shop, his mo like on the wrestling and you watch it on TV. You know, whenever he'd come in, everybody was supposed to salute. So whenever he'd come walking in, he was a big, big guy, real nice guy, real shy. Whenever he'd come in the pro shop, I'd say, "Hold everybody, salute!" And he'd be all embarrassed, and it was funny. <laughs> um, meatloaf, I used to, meatloaf, the the yeah. the uh, rock singer. I used to give him, I gave him golf lessons here for like a summer. No, no kidding. Yeah, he was a terrible golfer, and um, <laughs> but he was he was obsessed. He says I'm going to be a scratch golfer, so I would take him out for playing lessons in the evening sometimes, and we would play. And uh, he'd 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 hit some terrible shots, but he tried. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think who all the other celebrities that were here. Um, uh, Corky Lang was a rock drummer. They used to play with a group yep. called Mountain. He used to, he, him, him and Meatloaf used to come here. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else I could think of, but 